Hey everyone, Andy here, uh, back again as part of our Anatomy of a DIT card series. And in this section, I want to talk about onset color management and some of the tools and software used to do that. Uh, by onset color management, I mean creating lookup tables on set, maintaining color uh, from production to post, and working with the DP to create the look of the picture. Uh, whatever that is, that job can vary from uh, production to production, but the DIT is often tasked with doing that. So here's some of the tools that you might use to do that that are popular today uh, across the board. Uh, first and foremost is a color reference monitor in a minimum 10-bit panel. Most consumer sets are 8-bit. You really want a color reference panel like this, 10-bit uh, at minimum. This is a Sony uh, PVM OLED monitor. Very, very popular right now. It's uh, uh, true blacks and very surprisingly accurate overall. Other great monitors to consider are reference monitors from uh, TV Logic and Flanders. Uh, Again, yeah, there's lots of ones. There's a lot out there. Just make sure you're looking at an accurate display so you know what you see here is what you're going to see uh, later down the process. Uh, you also could consider a uh, X-Rite probe like this one, or just a, a, a monitor probe. There's better ones than this, of course, but a uh, monitor probe to maintain consistency uh, on my monitors. Uh, I know some DITs will actually go around and calibrate a number of displays uh, regularly. Uh, so um, this uh, X-Rite i1 Pro 2 is very popular because uh, it enables uh, it works with a Sony monitor like this one natively to calibrate it. We actually have a blog on how to do that. Uh, there's also um, other software that works with it like CalMan and uh, a variety of other tools that can work with this uh, to calibrate different displays. So again, consider that as an option to maintain consistency. So after that, after I get my calibrated monitor, well, what else do I need? Well, I need a lookup table box, a piece of hardware that will actually interject a lookup table into my uh, chain, right? So right now in my video system, I have a log signal here. I can flip over to a, a LUDed image here. And that's happening because I'm using a piece of hardware like this one. Uh, HD Link is a black magic piece of hardware, very popular uh, and fairly inexpensive, uh, which allows, again, SDI to come into it. A LUT can be applied by a USB here, by a software, and back out again. So the LUT box applies a lookup table to the whole system. I like that piece of hardware. It's nice, uh, very popular. Uh, but I really like this other piece of hardware called the Fujifilm IS Mini, a very cool piece of hardware. Uh, it's more accurate than the HD Link, a little bit more expensive, but uh, it has tons of tools in it, which I really love. We'll do a little breakout on that in a little bit. So the IS Mini and the HD Link are controlled by a USB connecting you to a piece of software like this one called uh, LiveGrade. LiveGrade uh, is a, a tool that, we, uh, that I like a lot, which will actually interact with the IS Mini or the HD Link to create a look. And I can dial in lookup tables, 3D LUTs into it, uh, adjust uh, things like lift, gamma, and gain, you can see here, right? Uh, and uh, output lookup tables for post. Uh, notice that I did interact with it with this panel here, which is a uh, tangent uh, element TK panel. This is a single small panel, which I really like. Uh, you don't have to use that. I just think it's really nice. It looks pro and gives you some nice subtle adjustments. You could use a mouse, of course, as well. I just really do like this particular little little panel. So uh, that's a great option as well. LiveGrade, again, works with both of these pieces of hardware. Uh, other tools you can consider uh, are uh, a Link Color, which is great. And actually, the uh, IS Mini, which I really do dig, also has a piece of software called the uh, IS Mini Manager that comes with it. Uh, we'll show you more of this in a little breakout here. But this tool uh, can, works very similar to uh, uh, LiveGrade now, where you can load in lookup tables, adjust, again, things like lift, gamma, and gain, uh, and, uh, and, and go from there. So uh, tons of options uh, out there in terms of software and hardware. My favorite are right now the IS Mini, LiveGrade, and the IS Mini Manager all working together. So uh, color management on set is an evolving thing, of course. There's lots of tools out there. Uh, but these are some of the ones that we all like. I see often uh, in different productions. So uh, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. And in the next section, we'll get into some other tools, some data management, et cetera, that you might see on set. So stay tuned for that, and see you next time.